another part of the demonstration, not necessarily about you know the more important issues of toxicity, but this is a cool little gadget that allows you to know if things are conducting electricity. This is basically a circuit, and this completes the circuit. And so what I want to show you is that when I put this into distilled water, I'm just going to let it sit there. You can see that the light bulb is going to stand over here. You can see that this light bulb is not doing anything right now. Right? Now I'm going to put it into this glass, and our light bulb goes on. All right? Again, I'll just go back to distilled, nothing, light bulb. Right. Okay, now what's, what's in that one? What I've put in this cup is alfalfa. You can see kind of like a darkness at the bottom. And this is alfalfa. The cool thing about alfalfa is it grows at least seven to eight feet below the surface of the soil so that there's no possibility of it being affected by soil depletion through over farming and toxification of the soil through you know, chemical treatments like fertilizers and insecticides. So basically, these are trace minerals that are found in a naturally grown substance that happens to be organic, right? And actually, they have found these roots as far deep, as far down as 30 feet, I believe. So that's pretty interesting. And when you think about what I was talking about earlier, when you think about, this is the just, uh, that's a tap bar, sorry. Let's do this. All right. This is the distilled water that I just showed you had nothing in it. Okay, so I'm going to leave the probe in there, drop a couple of drops of trace minerals, and you see it light up. Ionic trace minerals. Now watch this, okay? A couple more drops. If I can get them out of here, this thing's like clogged for some reason. It's coming out, is it getting brighter? Yeah, that's amazing. Just for some reason, this is clogged. Okay. There we go. Really bright. Wow. Pretty insane. Uh, you know, again, we are we're human. We have cells that are all electrically charged in our bodies. And to my way of thinking, if the minerals that I'm consuming can conduct electricity, they can have a greater chance of assimilating, and metabolizing, and being a part of something that will stay in my body and help me. Because it's not about how much you put into your body. It's about how much your cells absorb. One of the reasons I invited Jude, who's going to come up in a minute here, he's from New Chapters, because he's from a company that does it right. And there are a lot of people out there doing it, certainly. There are a lot of people out there doing it. But there are a couple of people who are doing it right. And the one thing I will tell you is when you, when you start to think in terms of supplementing yourself, and the supplements were derived from a food source, rather than some other source, which I'm not going to mention other than, we'll, we'll talk about calcium in a second. Uh, to me, it means that I might have a greater chance of absorbing that. So the one thing, and, and this is right out of their book, okay, so I'm, I'm just you know, prefacing this by telling you I didn't make this up or, or you know, it's not about my brilliance, this is about their brilliance. But basically, when it comes to calcium supplements, they're made in a lot of different ways. And one of the ways is to take limestone and grind it up and throw it into a capsule. Another way is to do the same with coral. You've heard of coral calcium. Would anybody here eat a limestone? I think Marcina might. <laughs> <laughs> or a piece of coral. But you would eat a piece of broccoli, right? I mean, you'd eat broccoli. You'd eat plants that, that have those nutritional values. And what they do is extract all of that stuff from a plant base. So maybe the pill they have doesn't have as many units of calcium, international units of calcium, Let's say it has 100, and the, other, the one right next to it has 400. What if all 100 of those units actually enter your, your cells and have a beneficial effect, and the 400 are gone in waste? Or worse, get stuck in certain organs like kidneys. That's, that's you know, something to think about. So you might pay a little more, but ultimately you're getting more. And we believe in eating organically. I mean, I wouldn't have sprayed the carrots if, if I didn't believe in it. Their son and, I'm sorry, their son-in-law and daughter have a farm that I visited a few weeks ago. I don't know if you know I was there. But it was an amazing tour. And they do it right. And all you have to do is go to the farmer's market on Saturday mornings. They're not there right now, but next, next year. Uh, and take a look at the vegetables. They look amazing. You, you know, and the amazing thing is also, you take those vegetables, and this is something you've got to know too. You take them like the broccoli comes out. I take them, and I buy way more than we can eat in a week and a half. 
And a week and a half later, whatever broccoli is left in our refrigerator looks fresher than anything on a store shelf. I mean, it's an amazing thing. So I believe that when people do it organically, not only are they you know, more conscious of just not dumping chemicals on the soil, but they're also more conscious of rotating crops, which maintains better nutrition in the soil, and planting the right cover crops that add things back to the soil, which is what they were doing the day I was there, which is important. And, and then you get more out of your food. And when it comes to supplements, these guys do that. I mean, they basically source the things right, and then they produce them organically.